Welcome to Minecraft The Villages are OP. In today's video, we're going to be exploring a world literally filled with never-ending mega villages. Not only that, but as we go from dimension to dimension, the villages get upgraded, becoming more and more overpowered. Can I beat the dragon? What are the villages like in the end? Stay tuned to find out. And a lot of you guys watching are new and not subscribed, so if you do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe with me in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Welcome to the team. And for today, let's trade for the like goal of... Oh, 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 okay. 4.22 likes, guys. Can we hit that exactly? Besides that, guys enjoy the video holy cow guys welcome to a world made entirely of villages this is gonna be an insane challenge welcome guys to minecraft but the entire world is an infinite village and so with that being said our goal today is to kill the dragon and try to see if we can even get to the dragon from only trading with villagers and seeing what villages have in store for us in every dimension so what i was told is that every single dimension is gonna have infinite villages but as i go to more difficult dimensions the villages get better and better so with that being said i probably really need to go to the nether and see what type of villages are in store there for me and hopefully we can make it to the end to see what type of trades we can get there too because honestly this is insane i feel like i can definitely get all the things i need just from all these villages alone like what the heck oh there's iron golems too i could kill them for iron all right so if i think correctly i think i gotta find a blacksmith to actually get good village stuff but i can't really find anything if i stay down here there are just so many places i need emeralds actually I think a blacksmith might have the stuff I need to actually get to the nether like obsidian, but it's gonna be hard to find everything we need. Holy cow. What am I supposed to do? Oh, blacksmith. Nice. Okay, we found our first blacksmith. Oh, here we are. Okay, you know, I'm gonna steal the furnaces. Don't mind if I do, you know, uh, no, no, no snitches, okay? We, we don't snitch here in the extra channel, please. Oh, that is a lot of apples, a lot of iron, a saddle, iron boots. Yes, I love it. Oh, you want carrots? I need more carrots. Wait, carrots. Are you carrots? Are you carrots? <gasps> carrots. Okay, I'm gonna steal your crops real quick. I'm sorry about that. All right, Mr. Carrot Farmer, I do not have enough. Dang. Ooh, wait, what is this over here? Oh, okay, a brewing stand. Nice. I could make some potions, but holy, it's so crammed up in here. It's like just a little city. It just never ends. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta find some more blacksmiths. Okay. Oh gosh, it's becoming nighttime soon. As soon as it becomes nighttime, I need to go underground or something because if the mobs pop in, I am screwed right now. Now, I don't have that much. And of course, as always, I'm in hardcore mode. So, you know, we, we don't want to die because if, if we're dead, we die forever. Also, where is the chest? Oh, there's a chest. Okay, we found it. All right, chest, please, something good. Iron chest plate. Yes, don't mind if I do. Oh, another chest, please. Oh, and a water bucket and an emerald too. Nice. Okay, this is actually turning out really well right now. Might as well get some string too. Villages literally have everything I need, except I guess everything else. I still got to get diamonds, netherite, all that good stuff. I really need these emeralds, guys, because if I'm going to do trades in the nether, I am going to need a currency first. So maybe if we can get like 30 emeralds before we go in, that'd be really good. Oh, wait, is that smithing table? Oh, wow, I actually do need that. All right, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna, you know, just uh, steal this real quick. Uh, no one saw that, and we're gonna run away. Old chest, and yes, okay, perfect. We just got three emeralds from there, and it's from this double-looking house. I feel like we can find that pretty commonly, actually. All right, so two-story houses are the way. That's how we're gonna get our emeralds. Oh, blacksmith there, nice, okay. And it looks like a double house there, too. All right, chest, and just bread. Really? I wonder if we can get any diamonds from these chests. I actually don't remember if, what is this house right now? <laughs> chest, okay, that's like a hidden chest right there. Please, something good, and yes, oh my gosh, nine emeralds literally this is the perfect house for emeralds we are gonna find as many of these houses as we can i'm gonna go to the nether soon and iron sword that is a great thing to get right there iron ingots gold ingots i can definitely make a lot of good stuff soon enough literally i just realized this video is just me robbing poor villagers over and over again but it'd be that way sometimes you know it's for science and there we go we even got some gold nuggets i don't really need the gold nuggets but 13 emeralds we are definitely getting closer to our goal what is this a blast furnace yes actually i probably do need that for later on okay this should be one of the good houses and this should have emeralds and there we go okay nice 17 emeralds literally finding everything we need right now blacksmith nice oh let's go okay iron helmet i still need an iron pickaxe but we're making really good progress right now no the village is burning down that's not good progress <laughs> Why, man? Oh, gosh. These poor villagers. They're just in overpopulation conditions. Honestly, if you guys have a better idea for the title as a pun for this video, you know, let me know in the comments. I I'm looking forward to reading them. Oh, no. We are running into a situation where a lot of the villagers are dying. I need to get to the nether as soon as I can. Another blacksmith. Okay, nice. I'm running out of a lot of houses, and the mobs are honestly overtaking a lot of these things. We're almost full iron, though, so that's going good for us. I think I might as well, because we do need a little bit of iron. Iron golem, I am so sorry, buddy, but I gotta do this right now. 
go. All right, let's uh real quick get some iron because we do got to get some iron to get to the nether. So uh, did it? Okay, it did drop iron. Nice. Oh, you didn't see that, guys. I'm so sorry. Why are you guys gossiping? All right, so with that, we have... Oh, wait, we have way more than enough. Holy, what have I been doing? Okay, so with that, we can already make our iron leggings. And all I need now is just a lava pool so I can get to the nether. Might as well make some bread. And a bow would probably be good. Wait, this is two blacksmiths. That's actually really good. Hold up. What did you just get? Sharpness too. Oh, that's so tempting. Oh, no. Okay, I want to save the emeralds. I'm trying to be frugal. I'm sorry, Mr. Villager. I just don't know what trades there are in the nether. And if they are good, I really want to keep my money for when I get there. I may have gotten all the loot I could find. We do look good from all of it, though. We're full iron. Looks like the villager survived one night. All I need now is just a little bit more emeralds, and then we should be good. Farmers, do you have anything I can trade for? No, I don't want bread. What do you have? Potatoes, carrots, and I have not many of those. Here, I'm going to steal your potatoes real quick, and I'm going to sell them back to you. That's economics. Yes. Okay, there we go. We got one emerald. Now we have 36 emeralds from that, and uh, I honestly don't need these potatoes. I kind of just sold the guy back his stuff. So with all that done, I think we might be ready to go to the nether dimension and see what the nether villages have in store for us. All right, got my flint and steel, 36 emeralds. And now let's find a lava pool and get into the nether. I might also want to get some diamonds if I do find some diamonds down here. Actually, if I could find some emeralds right now, that'd be really useful because right now, you know, I'm saving up my money for the big shopping time that we're going to have in this nether dimension. Oh, okay. Really good cave. We already got a lava pool. That's perfect. We can definitely go into the nether, but I'm real quick checking if there's any diamonds in this cave. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Oh no. Oh, I should have made a shield. Okay. Oh, Hold on, we completely forgot about the most important item, the Minecraft shield. Don't know why I didn't make that already, but we should be good now. Zero diamonds, guys, and we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. All right, real quick. All right, here we go, guys. It's time to build a portal to see what type of stuff is actually in this nether. Okay, portal made, and all we gotta do now is light this flint and steel. Portal is done, and now let's see what the nether has in store for us with infinite villages. Here we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is so cool. What? These are literally nether villages. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't see any hostile mobs yet. No gas. It really looks like nether villages. What the heck? Oh, we gotta use the gold ore. I'll get it back. Maybe if I don't get anything good from these villages, I'll get it back and then we'll figure out what to do next. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, that is sick. I don't even know what this thing is. Let me know in the comments down below what that block is. All right, um, nether... Oh my gosh. Wait, the villagers give you any item in the game. It's really expensive, but we could probably find some really good items inside these villagers. Netherite axe. Okay, that's actually really expensive. Could I buy emeralds from villagers? This is getting really interesting. Oh my gosh. Netherite blocks. No, I can't mine it. I don't have diamonds. Oh my god. Guys, holy, these villagers are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna spend on it 56 diamond blocks. I can now get also the netherite blocks, but I think we still gotta find a lot of things to actually make this worth it. One sec though, I'm gonna make full diamond real quick. Boom, done. And we can actually go ahead and mine this netherite because I do have the smithing table right now. So guys, this took a turn literally immediately. I gotta be smart with my emeralds though because I gotta get somehow into the end. So if I only get these diamond blocks, it's not gonna be enough. All right, since we're kind of rich now, we might as well get everything everything we can. And just like that, guys, we have literally netherite everything. Holy, I am really liking these villages. There we go. Cover me in debris. Challenge complete. Nice to know the cats are still here. Um, ooh, TNT, some string. Nothing good from that villager. So it's right now the hunt to see what villagers have good stuff. Oh, the chests are completely empty. Oh, so there's nothing in the chest, but the villagers definitely have good stuff. All right, which villager is going to give me the best stuff? Come on, I would appreciate, honestly, right now, some, maybe some eyes of ender. The eyes of ender would be great. Wait, was that emerald block? <gasps> oh, Oh my gosh! Yes! Okay, guys, we now have literally infinite emeralds. Okay, I spent all our emeralds, and now with that, guys, we have literally a whole stack of emeralds, which means we're gonna be able to literally buy anything in the game. I just wasted my water. I mean, I can just buy water now. I can just buy endstone. Why not? We're buying endstone. We're not even in the end yet. I still gotta beat the challenge, and there are still even better villages in the end. So for now, I'm just gonna get all the essentials and then try to get into the end. Oh my gosh, a whole stack stack of golden apples for only 12 emeralds, which is actually not that bad. Holy, I haven't taken the time to admire how much villages are here, but holy, the nether is literally just all villages. I don't even know if fortresses are still around. Okay, we need some end stuff. I just heard a pigman. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. What do you got for me? I'm looking all around, guys. Every villager has a new set of trades, so if I can just trade with as many villagers as I can, I should be good. Which villager has the key to getting into the end? I am really trying to find this right now. Mr. Villager, what do you have?
have. Hmm. I'm starting to sound like a villager, honestly. As the video progresses, I'm making more and more villager noises. I don't know what to think about this. A villager, what do you got for me? You're in the back alley. A slime spawn egg. That's not going to help me kill the dragon. Besides the full netherite, I actually haven't gotten that many good things from these villagers. So I really think I need to go to the end as soon as I can to get all the good stuff. 41 anvils. Yes, I do need that, actually. So um, I don't have any enchanting books right now. It looks like they're not giving me any enchanted book things. But an anvil really might come in handy later on. Also, these villages really aren't infinite. Holy, they never end. I do hear some hostile mobs, too. I kind of want to be careful with those. No eyes of under. No blaze rods yet. Maybe I should find a fortress in here. I feel like that'd be smart. I'm really lost in the nether right now. I have no idea where my original portal is. So I got to find these end portal frames sooner or later. Diamond leggings. No, no diamond leggings. Oh, you guys are disgusting. Maybe you guys know where the diamond leggings are. Oh, tropical fish. I actually do need that. So uh, thank you. Some more end stone. Really? I guess I'll buy some end stone. Let's get some more emeralds. What are you staring at, buddy? Oh, whoa. Hold on. Never mind. You can stare at me. Nine whole emeralds for an elytra. Yes. Don't mind if I do. And also 35 diamond ore, which I feel like I might find useful for levels. So I'm going to grab that too. Thank you, buddy. Oh my gosh. Literally an elytra. Yes. Elytras are so useful in this. Actually, we can go ahead and test out the elytra right now. Oh my gosh. This place is so beautiful. There's just so many locations we can go to. <gasps> No way. Firework rockets. Yes. Okay, we were about to fly all over the place in this dimension. I kind of feel bad for the villagers in the overworld because uh, they definitely don't sell stuff like this. They're even trying to farm in the nether. What the heck are you doing, buddy? Do you have the end portal frames? You don't. Dang it. Hold up. Holy 53 bottles of enchanting. Yes, we are definitely grabbing those. Love me some bottles of enchanting. We now have literally infinite XP. Yes. Love to see that. Literally, my last name is experience. It actually isn't, and it's not even close to that, but you know what? We're going to pretend it is. I like to read by Dab Master 69 I can't afford I like to read. All right, one second. Dab Master 69 apparently wants to tell us a story. All right, seven of this random book. Hi, I am a book. <laughs> okay, that, that that was a bit of a scam. We, we just got scammed by villagers. What do you got for me, buddy? Yes, there we go. 24 enchant tables. I love to see it. Okay, we can actually enchant now, but we only have five lapis azuli, so it's going to be used very quickly. Oh gosh, I don't even know what to enchant. I guess power one on that. We only have one lapis left. I guess protection one. No. All right, we have a short miss one, knockback one, and a power one. I mean, it'll do for now until we get more lapis azuli. Definitely another trade we need to do. Still got to get the eyes of Ender somehow. <gasps> Wait. That's huge. Okay, 50 Enderman spawn eggs, guys. That solves the issue about the Ender Pearls, but we still gotta get the Blaze Rod somehow. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that, wow. Go, way, way to go, me. All of a sudden, I said I can get the Ender Pearls, and then we uh, get Ender Pearls literally right away. What a scam. All I need now is some Blaze Rods. Watch me get Eyes of Ender now. I feel like I might run out of Emeralds sooner or later, so I gotta be a bit more frugal. Blaze Rods, where are you? Blaze Rods are in Portal Frame. <gasps> yes! Blaze Powder! Perfect! Okay, 39 Blaze Powder. That was oddly really quick. All right, I only need to get 12, and all that's left now is just to get the end portal frames or a way to get back to the overworld so we can find the stronghold. Because I kind of flew away from my original portal, so I am in the middle of nowhere in the nether just trying to trade with some villagers. I'm just vibing with them. Of course, I get blaze spawn eggs as soon as I get the blaze powder. What even is this? Oh, there's a pig line over there. I don't want to mess with that guy. <gasps> 19 obsidian. Hold up. We might be able to go back. Okay, I want to do a little bit more trades, and I still got to get arrows too. I don't know why I haven't gone arrows. All right, a lot of new villagers here. Maybe at least one of them has an end portal frame. That'd be really, really useful. Oh, arrows. Nice. Okay, yeah. All right, this will definitely help me kill the dragon later on. All right, we got another villager right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I almost died going to this villager. Buddy, what do you have for me? Oh my gosh. Yes. Holy. Seven emeralds for one totem of undying. And the main thing I'm really happy about is we can finally see the end villages with 60 end portal frames. I'm not a big fan of totems because I feel like it makes the challenge go away. So to make this even harder, guys, I'm going to buy zero totems totems of undying. I think we can pull it off, but now that we have those portal frames, I think we should go back to the overworld and finally see what's up with these end villages. Back to normality. Gotta say, every time I see this, I am so flabbergasted. It's so beautiful. All right, let's see this, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And finally, one, two, three. And with this final eye of ender, we should be good to finally see the end villages. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Are these end city villages? Hold up. I gotta go up. No way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're literally like desert end city villages. What? Holy. It's end city loot. Protection three and breaking three. Yes, I love protection three and breaking three. Efficiency three mending. Of course, why not? Protection four for only 11 emeralds. Yes, don't mind if I do. Fire protection four. Protection three. Curse of vanishing. Don't mind if I do. Fire aspect one. Sharpness three. Yes. Holy, guys. This is so good. Holy. Uh, no, 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 no. Mr. Dragon, I'm just trying to trade with the villagers right now. You do your thing over there. I'm gonna beat you soon enough. Another protection four. Love 
love to see that. Oh my gosh. Fire aspect two, looting three, smite five, protection four. Yes. I just made a big mistake, guys. I just realized I have no netherite, so I can't make the diamond armor back to netherite, but it really doesn't matter because protection four is still extremely good and definitely better than unenchanted netherite. <gasps> Yes, sharpness four, I'm breaking three. Don't mind if I do. That is probably gonna be the final sword. And I think we should be ready now to fight this dragon. This village literally never ends. All right, guys, I think it's time. Let's beat these crystals. One, two, make that three, four, five, six. Oh, I hit that. Nice. All right, just gotta be careful here. I tend to almost die every time I break this. Oh gosh, okay, that did way more damage than I anticipated. I think we only have one crystal left after this. Oh man, okay, I'm way too close to death. Also, where is the dragon gonna perch or can it even perch? Okay, I can't die here. That did way too much damage. The dragon might not be able to perch because of how many villages there are in the way. So, um, low key, this fight might just be a midair, guys. So here we go. Oh, wait, it's perching. All right, Mr. Dragon. No, I already went away. What a scam. We're doing good, I think. By the way, this dragon is so smooth. Shout out to Bicep Toasting for that. Oh, it's perching again. Okay, okay, okay. This might be the one. Okay, I'm not gonna mess it up this time. I'm already down here. Mr. Dragon. Oh gosh, it's destroying the village. One, two. All right, we just gotta do this for a bit. It's sharpness four, so it should do a good bit of damage. Uh, and of course, I get hit back up. Dang it. Come on, we gotta finish this challenge. I cannot die. Oh gosh, okay, okay. I am not getting close to dying again. Please, game. Two more hits, guys, and that should be it. And with this final hit, this should be it for Minecraft, but the whole world is an infinite village. Village. That was definitely one of the more fun ones we've done. And uh, where did that dragon egg go? Oh no, it's gonna be so hard to find in here. So I think we lost the dragon egg. Oh no. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye guys.